everyone, it's Misty from The Joy of It Elf. Welcome back to Vida Day 30. We made it to the 30th day of April, and I thought for this last video that I would come out from behind the wizard's curtain, so to speak, and formally introduce myself. This is me in all my glory. <laughs> Today is actually Wednesday, April 29th, and everybody knows because I have no qualms telling everybody that it's my birthday. So I wanted to film this video for several reasons and let me start by saying a huge thank you to everyone that has liked my videos and um, for those of you that leave me con um, comments on the regular or if you've just started commenting, thank you so much and everyone that subscribed, I really do appreciate it. No, I'm not crying, I'm just, <laughs> oh, thank you so much, I'm so Appreciative. <laughs> I really am appreciative and I hope that that comes across to you um, in a, the most genuine types of ways because I, when I started this channel, I really didn't think I would get very many views at all, let alone any kind of subscribers and to be getting inching kind of close to a thousand is really insane. And I know I'm still like small in comparison to a lot of channels, but you know what? I don't mind. Um, I love how this channel is growing organically. I love that you guys seem vested and interested in what I do. I mean, some of you have watched a video from me for 30 days in a row. <laughs> so I just can't even thank you enough for that. So before I get much further, let me remind you that today is the last day of the Vita every video every day in April series and you're still going to see a word pop up and it's going to be the 29th word because I ended up starting that on the second day and tomorrow May 1st there are going to be two separate blog posts on my blog I'm dusting off that old blog <laughs> to give you an opportunity for a chance to win um, I am going to ask that you limit it to one entry per person but you're um, at least at 18 years or older and if you're not make sure that you get parental permission because I am gonna have to send you uh, a package to your address I'm gonna have two different giveaways there's gonna be one that's planner specific so it's planner stamps ink and um, probably some washi tape maybe some stickers etc and then there's gonna be one that's more crafting specific so it's gonna be a Stampin' Up prize pack and unfortunately, this is going to be open to U.S. residents only and mainly because I can't send Stampin' Up! products overseas. And I apologize for that. But I will say that when I hit um, 50... 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain. <laughs> when I hit 1,000, I'll probably try to do like a $25 or $50 gift card to like Etsy or um, some kind of store that way that I can email you the gift certificate and you can shop and have it shipped internationally. Not 50,000. I I will probably never reach 50,000 <laughs> subscribers. So uh, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Um, my birthday started out a, a little aggravating, but it ended on a, an Oku note. So it's not too bad, I guess. So, and I'm trying like to look into the camera and not look at the viewfinder. Um, my craft room is a mess. I would turn the camera around, but she would all pass out and die because it's incredibly messy. And I'm seriously, I can't clean it this weekend because I have only made one berry basket <laughs> for, for our teacher appreciation. I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind, but I'll get there. So, so the first reason for this video is kind of like I said to introduce myself. This is me. I know you always see my hands, Ooh, and now you get to see my face. Ooh. Um, I'm not wearing makeup today. This is my birthday. I don't have to. <laughs> um, but I did do my hair, so you get to see that, right? It's very crispy. I'm rocking the the '80s wet perm look, so. Eh, it is what it is, right? So, so the first part of this video is to say hi, this is me. The second part was to say thank you and fall out your, you know, fall at your feet with gratefulness. I think I kind of did that. And the third reason for this video is I mentioned in a video last week, I couldn't tell you which one because I was in an antibiotic <laughs> coma, that I wanted to do a question and answer video. 
And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know what? I want to ask the questions and have you give me answers because my channel is still young and I'm still kind of, I feel like working out the kinks on where I want it to go and how I want it to be and what I want it to look like going forward. So I am a content creator. So I'm the creator of the content, but you guys are the viewers. So I really want to make sure that there's a somewhat healthy balance of, you know, what I want to show you and things that you would be interested in seeing. And my very first question is, how do you guys feel about the length of my videos? Because I, I'm, I'm a YouTube watcher myself. I mean, I watch YouTube rather than watch TV. And I've mentioned that before. And a lot of people I follow keep their videos around between eight and 10 minutes. I, I, I just haven't been able to do that. <laughs> I just can't do that. But if that's what the majority of people want, if you guys want shorter videos, I can give it a try. And let me just say, let me just say this. The, the only real way that I can make my videos shorter is if I speed them up in editing and do a voiceover. Because let's be honest, I craft in real life and I've been saying that for months now that I try my best to give you 100% of the process. Um, a lot of times, you know, I may have an idea in my head, but I try to walk you through it. And I walk you through when I'm kicking butt and everything is going great. And I'm giving myself high fives or doing cheer dances because I'm like, this is kicking ass and I'm awesome. And then I take you through the videos where nothing, <laughs> nothing wants to go right. Everything wants to screw up. You know, it's just, I have those days and I really have left that in and I've said this in other videos too because I want you to see the good and the bad. I want you to be able to see, especially if you're a new crafter or you're new to car making or you're new to videos or you're new to, you know, whatever, that you don't have to be perfect 100% of the time because it's not, it's not possible whatsoever. And I try to show you how I think through mistakes or what I do or you know, to, to salvage a card. Sometimes they're not salvageable and I have to start completely <laughs> over from scratch. You know, and sometimes I leave that in and speed through it and sometimes I cut it out. But for the most part, I do minimal editing and that's why, excuse me, that's part of the reasons why my videos are so long. So, like I said, I will do my best if that's what everybody wants me to do, but I really feel like you'll lose that I'll have to lose a lot of footage and it'll just be very straightforward, cut and dry, and I just don't know how personal I can be in under 10 minutes. So again, I will do my best if that's what you want from me. I will try my hardest, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> so that's the first question. How, how do you guys feel about the length of my videos? That's the first question. So the second question is, what do you want to see? So let me talk you through my posting schedule um, when it's not a video every day. My schedule before we started April was Monday, I do an Inspiration Monday, which is where I strictly use Stamping Up products to create a card. And I, you know, pull either a color palette or something, you know, I use other cards, something. I pull something to be inspiration, mostly from Pinterest. Wednesdays, I started the Watch Me Wednesday series where it's an opportunity for me to just color, just pick an image and whether I watercolor, um, I did an eight Twinkling H2Os, I've done, you know, um, coloring with my Spectrum Noirs, I've done coloring just with markers. So it's really just an opportunity to sit down and color and let you watch. And I mentioned when I very first introduced that series, I think toward the middle of March, that I couldn't promise that it will be an every week kind of thing. And I still don't want to make that promise to you because honestly, my husband, it's a little easier when I'm filming in the spring 
because it's too cold to swim. <laughs> too cold to swim outside. And my husband works an insane amount of hours. It's busy season for him. That's going to come to a close around the 1st of June. And when he's home, I tend to want to spend as much time with him as I can because for six months out of our year, and it's actually closer to eight because a couple of months in the winter that he has busy season, we don't get to see each other very much. Like it's, today's my birthday and he's working late. I have no idea what time he's getting off or when I'll get to see him or if I get to see him, you know, I'll have to pick him up from the train and us come home and go to bed. So I can't promise that I'll have time to film on the weekends is what I'm trying to say. But I do know that you will get at least two Watch Me Wednesdays a month. My Friday schedule is not going to change. That's festive Fridays. My goal is to do 52 thing, um, Christmas cards for the year. And we are, I think, 16 in, which is absolutely crazy. So that'll continue. My Saturdays for Soldiers will continue because I'm working on um, getting a box together for Operation Right Home. I'm getting pretty close. I have one full shoe box. Um, my goal is to get two or three of those complete so I can send them in. And then sat um, Sunday are my Playing With Me videos, which I'm not going to stop those either. And I'm not cutting those down. Those are going to be 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I, yeah, those are just going to stay long. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> so I'm posting five days a week. And... But I want, again, I want you guys to have say. So if there's a particular technique you want to see, um, you know, if there's a stamp set that I have that you want to see, any of those kinds of things, make sure you comment and leave those down below. Now, let's talk about Inspiration Monday. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've mentioned that <laughs> probably a couple times. And I kind of want to give you the the real reason why I've done that. I have a video on my channel about zero based budgeting. My husband and I had a rough start to our marriage. I think a lot of people have hard starts to their marriage, but he lost his job three days before we met. So three days before we met, he had lost his job and I had, and we met online. I actually thought he was using that as an out <laughs> to not meet me because he was in Dallas and I was um, in Oklahoma. So he's like, no, you know, I just lost my job. And so we, you know, we got together and I knew it was one of those cliche kind of moments where he left, he left for Dallas after we hung out and I called my mom and I said, I met the man I'm going to marry. And she's like, whatever, whatever. And I was like, no, I met the man I'm going to marry. And nine months later, <laughs> I had moved to Texas and we were married. And the first year of our marriage, we really, really struggled financially because he didn't have a job and was living on unemployment and the rest of his severance pay and I had had a job and I had ended up losing it and had ended up losing it and so there was a time where we thought we were going to lose our house at the time you know we were living on unemployment you know trying to stretch money to make sure we paid our mortgage and then our mortgage went up I mean it was just Everything that could have gone wrong that first year of marriage did. And so we basically went to the gates of hell and came back. <laughs> During that mess, we were basically living off credit and credit cards. And we got into some serious debt. We were able to pay some of it down, but then we got this house um, after he ended up getting a job. I found a job um, not too long after... I'd lost the one I had, but it was still hard to make it on one income, especially in a big city. So we, you know, got into a lot of credit card debt and a lot of debt. And I'm a spender. Ooh, if you guys watch any of my old haul videos, you know that. So last March, I put us on a zero-based budget, and we're working on getting out of debt. And we've done a great job. I think we've paid off close to $26,000. We may be up to $27,000 in debt in a year. And I want to grow my Stampin' Up! business to help us get out of debt, really. I want, you know, a second income that I can use to pay down our debt so my husband can feel like that he can retire in 14 years because he's 14 years older than me. So I just turned 37, he just turned 51. 
last month. So he is quite a bit older than me and I want him to be able to retire. And when he retires, I want to retire with him. <laughs> I want to, you know, to be able to retire and do things with him and us be debt free and not have, you know, so much hanging over our shoulders. So that's, that's ultimately why I joined Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. So I'm saying all that to tell you that I never want you to watch one of my videos and feel like you're watching an infomercial for Stampin' Up. I never want you to watch one of my videos and feel like I'm just doing a video so I can sell you something. I never want you to feel that way. And if it starts to get that way, especially those of you who've been with me from the beginning and who comment on every video, please tell me. Tell me like, Missy, that's a little, you know, I'm getting a little pushy with the Stampin' Up. Let me know because I don't, you know, I don't want to be that type of demonstrator where, you know, I, I'm only on YouTube to sell you something because that's just not the case. But on the flip side, it is a business and it is my business and it's a business that I'm trying to grow. And one way that I, you know, YouTube can be a great marketing tool. So I want to kind of find a balance between you know, creating stuff with, the, with you know, creating cards mostly and maybe some 3D items with, you know, supplies from my business, you know, and, you know, trying to earn your business as your demonstrator, but at the same time, not feeling like I'm slamming or cramming stamping up down your throat. There you go. <laughs> so, but know that I have the best of intentions with, my business and if I could earn your business if you you know if you aren't a demonstrator and you enjoy my videos and you know you're inspired by my crafting and you want to make a purchase I I would appreciate it so much but if you don't or if you already have a demonstrator I'm you know I'm not one that's trying to poach anybody um, you know, I had somebody make a comment on Facebook, you know, that they really needed to get that stamp set. And I'm like, you know, if you don't already have a demonstrator, let me know. And she's like, no, I do. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Because I, you know, I don't want to take grocery money or something out of somebody else's pocket because, you know, it's just not fair. So anyway, yeah. oh, this video is such a Debbie Downer right now. <laughs> It wasn't meant to be. I just want to explain. I sh did I mention at the beginning this is going to be a Chatty Cathy video? Maybe I should have. <laughs> I just want you to know that, you know, I, I'm trying to find the right balance between, you know, being a demonstrator and a crafter and using, you know, demonstrating my crafting supplies to you and then just being you know misty the jolly fat elf who loves to make cards and make people laugh and you know get to know you through your comments and those kinds of things so i value your opinion and i you know i value you enough to for you to say hey misty you're you know like i said you're the oh, but i felt like an infomercial or something like that if it ever gets to be like that please let me know Okay, moving on. How many minutes are we in? Oh, only 18? I'm so proud of me. I thought we'd be like an hour. <laughs> an hour by now. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. That's really, those were really my questions, I think. Um, do you guys have any questions of me? I would love to do a question and answer video. I don't think I'm that exciting or there's a lot to know about me. And pff, I think I tell you guys so much anyway. Um, I have had some inkling, some thoughts about starting uh, an at home channel because I really love cooking and decorating. And like, I don't think I'll ever be like a vlogger. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but Rob and I are pretty boring. It would be like, oh, we woke up, took a shower, got dressed, ate breakfast, watched TV, watched YouTube, went to bed. <laughs> like, mm, we just don't do a whole bunch because we're trying to get out of debt, you know, eh, whatever. So yeah, so that's my 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 video for day thirty of Vita. Actually, I had a really a really awesome time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, because 
<gasps> there were some times I didn't think I was going to make it, especially when I was so sick last week, which is so funny. <sighs> that's going to drive me I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this and be like, oh, yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I was talking about. Talking about, you know, decorating my house and cooking dinner. Yeah, it's completely gone. Whatever. Anyway, I was thinking about doing a second channel because I'm in the process of decorating our home and I've shared pictures here and there and um, those kinds of things. So I really, I love cooking you know, all that good stuff, but I don't want to like bog down my crafting channel with those kinds of things. So, hmm. That's really going to drive me crazy and I'm going to go back and watch this video and I'm going to be like, duh, that's what I meant. <laughs> whatever. Just whatever, just whatever, just whatever. What was I? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm going to move on. We're moving right along. So, yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this video was insightful, entertaining. Hmm. I don't know. I just hope you enjoyed it and know from the bottom of my poor southern heart that I love you guys. I appreciate everyone that's liked and subscribed. Um, but most importantly, those of you who take you know, a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes out of your day to leave such fantastic comments. They just really touch my heart and I really do appreciate it. And I honestly, every time I have an email that says new activity on such and such video, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> wondering what you guys have said because the, it just really means a lot to me. And I hope that we're building a community and a community of love and crafting and all that good stuff. So Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I didn't lose any subscribers with this video. If I did, I apologize. I apologize. Don't forget a word has popped up somewhere in this video. It's word number 29. If you haven't, I'm gonna leave the contest open until May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, which is Tuesday. Um, go back and gather all the words. All you're gonna have to do is leave a comment with the words in order. That's it. That's going to be it, and then I'm going to use random.org to pick a winner. And um, make sure that you are willing for me to leave me an at number one, an email address that works, and number two, that you are, um, like I said, you're in the US and that you are old enough that your parents don't mind if you get mail from a complete stranger, those kinds of things. And, oh, let me touch on one more thing. I've had a couple of people email me and ask if they can send me a card or send me a package and I'm actually going to show you those things in another video later down the road. If that is something you want to do, all you have to do is message me on Facebook or email me. You can find both of those links in the description box below because I don't, I don't really know how to message through YouTube anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know how and I'm not going to put my address on blast on um on blast i always talk like i'm hip and cool and i'm 37 whatever <laughs> um i'm not going to put my email out i mean my mailing address out for everybody and i'm actually considering getting a p.o box so i mean i don't expect people to want to send me stuff but on the off case that you do um let me know i don't mind i really do appreciate it and you'll probably at least get a thank you note from me in return so yeah thanks so much for watching Thank you for subscribing. I really hope you enjoyed a video every day in April. I will probably do it again next April. I'm going to need some time off. <laughs> some time to just go. Oh, no, go on. That's real professional. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think it's time to go. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.